Peace to everybody. Uh, this is about Diana Ross urges Michael Jackson critics to stop in the name of love and mid resurrected sex abuse claims. Diana Ross urged critics of Michael Jackson to stop in the name of love. The former Supremes front woman tweeted Saturday, This is what's on my heart this morning. I believe and trust that Michael Jackson was and is a magnificent, incredible force to me and too many others. Stop in the name of love. So Diana Ross had tweeted on her Twitter that she wants the critics to stop with all this allegations against Michael Jackson because she doesn't want to hear no more of it and I don't blame her. I don't even want to hear it because I know it's all lies what they said. Jackson, who died in 2009, has been the subject of much criticism and scrutiny following the HBO documentary Leaving Neverland, which detailed harrowing sex abuse allegations against the King of Pop. Now, there was nothing... Michael Jackson didn't do nothing wrong ever since that documentary came out on HBO, which I do not have, that they, they were, is getting criticized of all these sexual abuse allegations that are not true. Wade Robson and James Safechuck came forward in the documentary and alleged that Jackson groomed them as children as well as their families and acted as a personal figure to them before sexually abusing each of them for years. Wade Robson and James Safechuck are liars. They're scamming because it's all about the money and the, and the Jackson estate did not include them into the um the money thing because it was going to go towards Michael Jackson's kids, Paris, Prince Mike, and um, Blanket, and that's where they, the money was going to. Wade Robson and James Safechuck are coming out saying, oh, well, Michael Jackson did this and did that to me. No, they need to stop it because it's nothing but lies out of them. I don't believe nothing what those two men said. I believe what Michael Jackson's former bodyguard said, and I believe what Michael Jackson has said years ago before uh, when the first time the allegations came out that there was nothing on him at all they could um, charge him with. Robson was seven and saved Chuck ten when they each met the singer. Well, okay, yeah, you can meet your favorite singer at the age of seven and ten, but accusing him of doing something, that's totally ridiculous. And as you can see here, Miss Diana Ross tweet, which she had tweeted out on, or tweeted out on her Twitter account, mm -hmm. that she wants all this to stop right now. When Jordan Chandler accused Jackson of sexual abuse in 1993, both Safechuck and Robson denied Jackson molested them. Robson re-created re his denial in 2005 when Jackson was on trial for allegedly sexually abusing Gavin uh, Arvizo, for which Jackson was acquitted. So he was. So Michael Jackson was acquitted in 2005 because there was nothing they could find. His, the judge said, "Nope, there's nothing there. I, I'm sorry, he's not guilty. Can't charge him for anything." But when it came to Wade Robson and James Safechuck, the, at first they denied of Michael Jackson of um, molesting him. But then all of a sudden they turned around and said, "Oh well, Michael did this. Michael did that." They need to shut up and tell the real truth. That's what they need to do. And, tell, and let everybody know this never happened. But since everybody wants to believe their lies, they're more dumber than they are.
Robson explained last month that he simply lived in fear of the singer's wrath while Jackson was alive, claiming Michael's training of me to testify began the first night that he began abusing me. He started telling me, if anybody finds out, we'll both go to jail. Well, f really, how are you going to send an innocent man to jail for something he didn't do? Robson is not to be trusted. He's a liar and a manipulator. That's all he is. And when I had done a little research on Wade Robson and James Safechuck, those two were smiling because they scammed HBO and CNN. And of course, we all know CNN is the biggest liar of all with their fake news, and that's why they're getting sued here and there. But Michael never trained these boys to testify against him or anything. It was all lies. Michael Jackson was just being himself. He didn't. He was not the type of person to go around to sexually abused any child whatsoever. And as you can see here, here's Diane Ross and Michael Jackson in the picture. I wish that I was already at the time. I wish that I could have helped Gavin Arvizo receive some justice for what happened to him. So they're trying to say that, uh, all right, so this kid named Gavin Arvizo, he also lied on Michael Jackson saying, oh, he touched me, da, da, da. That was a lie, too. Jackson's estate has vehemently and repeatedly denied all accusations of an appropriately and illegal behavior against the thriller icon pointing out that he was never convicted of any crimes. The state is suing HBO over leaving Neverland, alleging that the documentary violated a non agreement contract Jackson had with the cable giant. So the Jackson estate, they denied any kind of allegations that were uh, allegedly against those two and um, now that the Jackson estate is suing HBO for a hundred million dollars, they they have no choice but to pay up all that money that they owe the Jackson estate. And um, Michael Jackson was had done a lot of things in his lifetime when he was alive. He was doing charities, everything you could think of. Ross. Post came just a day after Barbara Streisand was slammed for her own remarks about the molestation claims that plagued Jackson for decades. Well, so now, you, so now Barbara Streisand got slammed for it. Uh huh. See, that's what she gets for sticking her big nose in where it don't belong. And as you can see, here's Barbara Streisand and Michael Jackson, and um, Barbara Streisand is just. Also another liar, too, criticizing Michael Jackson for something he didn't do. And with her big nose, she needs to stay out of people's business and stick to her own business. Streisand initially said in an interview of the child sex abuse allegations against Jackson, his sexual needs were his sexual needs coming from whatever childhood he has or whatever DNA he has. You can say molested, but those children, as you heard the grown-up Robson and Savechuck say, they were thrilled to be there. They both married, and they both have children, so it didn't kill them. So Barbara Streisand is just still rambling on about all the kids. Kids were glad to be there, this and that, and... Michael Jackson had his knees. No, Michael Jackson did not have his knees because Michael Jackson was a grown up, but he had uh, like a um, a child like still in him in a grown up body because Michael Jackson and his brothers they were pushed into music entertainment, and um, Joe Jackson, their father, he wouldn't let the kids be kids 
at all. I mean, you just cannot rush them and throw them into the music entertainment. It's just not. I know a lot of celebrities are doing that to their children, but come on. Michael Jackson and his brothers, they just wanted to be kids. That's all. Grow up to whatever they wanted to be. But instead, Joe Jackson just shoved them right into music entertainment. She did note, however, that she absolutely believed his accusers. So now this big nose Barbara Streisand believes James Safechuck and Wade Robson. Really? Well, the bitch needs to um, wake up and smell the coffee because... Those two are scammers, and they need to, and she needs to sit down, and she needs to take several seats and shut up. After a slew of blacklash, the Yentl star walked back on her words, telling Variety in a statement to be crystal clear. There is no situation or circumstance where... It is okay for the innocence in, of children to be taken advantage of by anyone. The stories these two young men shared were painful to hear, and I feel nothing but sympathy for them. Well, you know, why why are people still believing all these lies? I don't know. Barbara Strike said had no right to feel any, has no right to feel sympathy for him. She should have looked past the lies that they were telling. So James Safechuck and Wade Robson, yeah, they're going to keep scamming people until they get what they want. But you know what? Sooner or later, they're going to get caught and both of them are going to go to jail for lying. So, and plus accusing Michael Jackson of doing something that he never did in his life. Really? I mean, come on. How stupid can they get to be? I want you to think about this and tell me in the comments below. I am out.